Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use Git GUI, a very simple tool that comes with every installation of Git. It's very useful for committing, branching and doing other stuff without ever needing to touch Git Bash. So, uh, let's get started by cloning an existing repository. For our source location I previously prepared uh, a project on GitHub. Uh, let me just copy the link and paste it here and for the target directory I'll choose the D drive and the tutorial project folder and hit uh, clone. Let's wait for Git GUI to do all the work for us. Let me open uh, git bash for our project so we can check everything that we are doing uh, inside git GUI and uh, I would also like to open the project uh, inside Visual Studio Code so we can see everything that is inside of our project. Uh, it consists uh, of three files and it's very simple. Uh, the main.c file just prints the result of the add function and uh, matfunctions.h and matfunctions.c files uh, contain just the add and subtract functions. Okay, uh, let me uh, modify some things uh, inside these files. I'll just copy uh, th this line two times and change this to subtract and this to multiply. I will also add a function prototype for the multiply function and also a definition of the multiply function. Uh, let's change this to the multiply sign. Okay, uh, let's go back to Git GUI and hit rescan. The Git GUI interface consists of four sections. The first section contains files that have unstage changes. The second section has files uh, that contain stage changes. The third section uh, is just the diff of our files. And the fourth section uh, contains everything that is needed for making commits. Okay, uh, let's stage this line for commit. And let's select amend last commit and hit the commit button. So now our last commit uh, contains uh, the second printf line. As you can see, the plus sign is now gone. Okay, uh, let's add all the other uh, files uh, to the git index. Uh, this is done easily by just uh, clicking uh, on the icon next to the file names. Or you can just uh, press the stage changed button. Okay, uh, the new commit button is uh, already selected. Uh, we can type something for our commit message, like, for example, tutorial commit message. We can also sign off our commit and then just click uh, the button commit. Let's check that we've really made a commit. Let's go to git bash and type git log. As you can see, our commit message is right here. Let's see what Git GUI can do with branches. It can create, check out, rename, delete and reset branches. So let's start by creating a new branch. For the branch name, I'll just type in master tutorial. Starting revision will be a local branch master. And let's uncheck this checkout after creation option. Uh, hit the create button. And let's check that we've actually created uh, the branch by typing git branch in git bash. 
As you can see, the master tutorial branch is right here. Let's go back and let's check out our Git GUI to our newly created branch. Uh, let's select the master tutorial branch and click on checkout. And as you can see, our current branch is now master tutorial. We can also rename our branch by typing a new name, master tutorial new name and click on rename. Uh, we can also uh, delete uh, branches. Uh, let me just check out to the master branch and let's delete our newly created branch. Uh, so uh, let's uh, select this master tutorial new name branch and delete only if merged into always and click on delete. Select yes. Let's go to git bash to check that we've actually deleted the branch. Type in git branch again. And as you can see there is only master. Let's go back and uh, one more option is to reset a branch. Uh, but first of all we have to make a change uh, in our project. Let's just type 123 uh, in our matfunctions.c uh, file. Go back to git GUI and hit rescan. Uh, this is the diff and we've added uh, 123 to our file and we can now delete those changes that we've made by clicking reset and clicking yes. And now the changes are gone. Okay, next up is merging. Let's go to git GUI uh, and let's create a new branch. Let's call it master merge. Hit create. We are now checked out at the master merge branch. Uh, let me uh, make a new function on that branch. I'll call it divide. And also let's add a prototype. Let's go back to git GUI, hit rescan. Here are our changes. Uh, let's click on stage changed and make a commit message merge commit. Sign the commit off and hit commit. Now let's check that in git bash by typing git log. As you can see here is our merge commit. Now let's check out to the master branch. We are now at the master and let's go to merge local merge. And now revision to merge local branch master merge. Hit uh, on the merge button and the merge was successful. Let's go back to git bash and type git log again. As you can see the master branch contains the merge commit. We can now safely uh, delete the master merge branch. Uh, delete only if merged into master delete. Check uh, in git bash by typing git branch and we now only have the master branch. Next part to cover are remotes. Uh, we can fetch and prune from remotes, we can remove or add them or push and delete branches from remotes. First of all, uh, let's push all of our changes uh, to our remote repository. Let's select the master branch. Uh, destination repository will be remote origin. And let's check this force overwrite existing branch. Uh, my advice is to not check this if you don't know what you are doing. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I will check this 
uh, to avoid some errors that may come up. Okay, uh, let's click push. Okay, so it was successful. I'll close this window and uh, uh, in our uh, remote repository we have three commits, but if I click refresh there are now five. So the remote repository now contains uh, the two of our commits that we've made in this tutorial, the merge commit and tutorial commit message. Now uh, let's try to fetch some changes uh, from our remote repository. First of all, uh, we have to make some changes in our repository. So uh, let's edit the main.c file. I'll just add another line here. The divide function. And let's add a commit message, uh, update the main file. And click on commit. So, our remote repository now has six commits. Let's fetch that new commit from our repo remote repository. Let's go to remote, fetch from, origin. And uh, the new commit is now fetched. Uh, we can also uh, merge it to our local repository. Uh, go to merge and click on local merge. Merge into master, tracking branch, origin master. Click on merge. It is fast forwarded. And let's uh, type git log again. We can see that in our local repository there is the commit update main file. Uh, the next uh, option is the prune uh, option, but uh, I will not show that because it is uh, used very rarely. Uh, the next option is to remove a remote. This is very simple. Let's click on origin to remove it. And now it's removed uh, because it doesn't show up, uh, but we can add it again. Let's click on add. For the name, type in origin again. And for the location, let's just uh, copy this link from GitHub. And click on add. And now we have the remote repository origin again. We can also delete branches from our remote repository, uh, but uh, let's first uh, create a new branch so we can push it to the remote repository. Let's name it uh, master remote delete. Let's uncheck uh, checkout after creation. And let's go to remote and push. Uh, select the master remote delete branch. Uh, select the remote origin and uh, click on push. Okay, so it was a success. So on our rem remote repository we had one branch. If I click on refresh, now we have two branches the master and master remote delete. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to remote uh, delete branch. And let's uh, delete the master remote delete branch from our remote repository. Uh, delete only if uh, always. Click on delete. Yes. Let's wait for a bit. It was a success. So the branch is now deleted from the remote repository. Click on refresh. And now the only branch is master. The last thing to cover are the custom tools uh, that you can add uh, to Git GUI. 
So uh, let's uh, add a new custom tool, give it a name status and for the command uh, let's type git status. Click on add and let's run that status uh, custom command by going to tools and clicking on status. So uh, the status uh, command is uh, successfully executed and uh, we have the option to delete uh, that custom command. Uh, let's go to tools and remove, select status and click remove. It is gone from the tools uh, menu. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one.